Have you ever pondered over the mysteries enshrined within the grandeur of the iconic Notre Dame? Today, we delve into the world of Victor Hugo's timeless classic, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. First published in 1831, this tale has been translated into numerous languages and published over countless editions, reaching readers far and wide. Beyond its captivating plot, it paints a vivid canvas of a society teetering on the brink of change. Set against a backdrop of intricate Gothic architecture, the novel unravels a poignant narrative of human struggle, set in the heart of 15th century Paris. This is not just a story of the hunchbacked bell ringer Quasimodo and the beautiful gypsy Esmeralda. A story of love, betrayal, and redemption. It's a story of the human spirit's resilience in the face of adversity. And most importantly, it's a story that explores the dichotomy of beauty and monstrosity, both within and outside the walls of Notre Dame. A tale set in the heart of Paris, this timeless classic weaves a story of love, betrayal, and redemption, which since its inception has transcended language barriers and seen numerous editions. At the heart of the narrative are three pivotal characters, Quasimodo, Esmeralda, and Claude Frollo. Each with their own stories, intricately entwined, they are the beating heart of Victor Hugo's timeless classic. Let's delve into the plot. Quasimodo, the titular hunchback, is a bell ringer at the Grand Notre Dame Cathedral. Born with physical deformities, he's shunned by society, yet he possesses a heart of pure gold. His world revolves around the cathedral and his master, the stern and morally complex archdeacon Claude Frollo. Frollo, a man of religion, is torn between his pious duties and his uncontrollable desire for the enchanting Esmeralda, a gypsy dancer. Esmeralda, with her mesmerizing beauty and kind spirit, remains oblivious to Frollo's dark obsession. Instead, she is drawn to the brave captain, Phoebus. As the narrative unfolds, a series of events leads Frollo to falsely accuse Esmeralda of attempted murder. Despite her innocence, she is sentenced to death. Quasimodo, who has silently admired Esmeralda from the cathedral towers, swoops down in a daring rescue, providing her sanctuary within the cathedral walls. This act of bravery sparks an unexpected friendship between Quasimodo and Esmeralda, both outcasts in their own right. Their bond deepens, even as Frollo's obsession spirals into deadly madness. The plot takes a tragic turn when Frollo, in his rage and jealousy, betrays Esmeralda leading to her demise. In the end, a heartbroken Quasimodo chooses to share her fate, a poignant testament to his unwavering love. Victor Hugo once wrote, Love is like a tree. It grows by itself, roots itself deeply in our being and continues to flourish over a heart in ruin. This quote resonates deeply in the narrative, revealing the profound impact of unrequited love and the devastating consequences of obsession and societal prejudice. In the labyrinth of human emotions and societal norms, their lives cross paths, leading to a tale of unparalleled intensity. This journey through the plot of The Hunchback of Notre Dame unveils the compelling saga of love, obsession, and sacrifice, set against the backdrop of the majestic Notre Dame. Each character in the tale is a reflection of the society they inhabit, mirroring its virtues, vices, and complexities. Let's delve into the heart of our tale, our characters. Quasimodo, the misunderstood hunchback, is the embodiment of physical deformity contrasted with a gentle heart. Shunned and feared due to his grotesque appearance, Quasimodo's isolation in the belfry of Notre Dame is a stark commentary on the prejudiced lens of society that often overlooks the beauty within. Esmeralda, the beautiful gypsy dancer, symbolizes purity and innocence. She is the beacon of hope and compassion amidst the cruelty of the world. Despite her marginalized status, she shows kindness to Quasimodo, challenging the societal norms of her time. Her character is a poignant reminder of the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Claude Frollo, the seemingly pious archdeacon, is a complex character portraying the struggle between carnal desire and religious duty. His obsession with Esmeralda sets the tragic events of the story in motion, and his fall from grace epitomizes the destructive power of unchecked passion. Interwoven with the characters are the themes that Victor Hugo skillfully depicts. Unrequited love, as seen in Frollo's obsession with Esmeralda and Quasimodo's unspoken love for her, underscores the pain and desperation that often accompanies love. Social injustice is laid bare through the mistreatment of Quasimodo and the persecution of Esmeralda, reflecting the societal inequalities of the time. The theme of fate is omnipresent as the characters are swept away by the currents of destiny, often leading to tragic ends. Nothing makes a man so adventurous as an empty pocket. This quote encapsulates the theme of survival and the lengths individuals go to 
in order to fend for themselves in a harsh world. Through these characters, Hugo paints a vivid picture of society, its prejudices, and its redeeming qualities. So, as we navigate the labyrinth of Notre Dame, we are confronted with these timeless themes, reminding us of the enduring relevance of this masterpiece. The story is not merely a work of fiction, but a portal to 15th century Paris. As you journey through the tale, you're transported back in time to an era marked by its distinct cultural and societal norms. The city of Paris, with its intricate web of narrow streets and bustling markets, serves as a vivid backdrop to our characters' lives. But it's not just the city that comes alive in Hugo's narrative. The Notre Dame Cathedral plays a pivotal role. More than a mere setting, it's an integral character in the narrative, its soaring spires and grand arches bearing silent witness to the unfolding drama. The cathedral embodies the spirit of the age, reflecting the societal norms and religious sensibilities of the time. Its stones whisper tales of love and loss, of victory and defeat, of hope and despair. Through the eyes of Quasimodo, we see the cathedral in all its glory and sorrow. Notre Dame stands as a silent observer and participant echoing the joys and sorrows of its inhabitants. Victor Hugo, through his work, has left an indelible mark on literature. His vivid characters, intricate plots, and evocative settings have influenced countless authors, shaping the course of literary history. But his influence extends beyond the realm of literature. When Hugo penned The Hunchback of Notre Dame, the real Notre Dame Cathedral was in a state of disrepair. The novel's success sparked renewed interest in the cathedral, ultimately contributing to its restoration. Hugo's novel also has a significant impact on modern culture. The tragic tale of Quasimodo and Esmeralda has been adapted into numerous films, musicals, and television series, each interpreting the story in its unique way. These adaptations have introduced new generations to the timeless themes of unrequited love, social injustice, and the resilience of the human spirit that Hugo so masterfully depicted. The Hunchback of Notre Dame continues to resonate with readers, transcending borders and generations. Despite being set in a bygone era, the novel's themes and characters hold a mirror to contemporary society. The Hunchback of Notre Dame, with its tapestry of vivid characters and universal themes, transcends the confines of time and geography. Our world today still grapples with the issues Victor Hugo so eloquently portrayed. Marginalization, the quest for acceptance, and the profound impact of unrequited love. The story's timeless appeal lies in its exploration of the human spirit and its resilience in the face of adversity. Quasimodo's tale, his struggle, and unyielding love for Esmeralda continues to resonate with readers around the globe, reminding us of the enduring power of compassion and kindness. In the midst of our rapidly changing world, this classic novel serves as a poignant reminder of the timeless human values that bind us all. In the end, The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a testament to the human spirit, its resilience, and its quest for love and acceptance. Before we conclude this deep dive into The Hunchback of Notre Dame, we'd like to invite you to join our community. If you enjoyed this journey and found it insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel at the Book Fox Summaries. Your support helps us bring more of these captivating book summaries and discussions to life. Share this video with fellow book lovers and broaden the conversation. Remember to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest releases. Stay tuned for more as we continue exploring the vast universe of literature together. Thank you for being part of this journey.